Every in the name of Jesus, we overcome. Uh -huh. You will not so in the name of Jesus, whatever you want, you put it there. Are you listening to me now? I'm not going to the one that be confessing for you. You are the one that will confess it. It is now prophetic prayer that you are doing. In the name of Jesus, I have a joy. It depends on what you want. Are you listening to me? You are the one that knows yourself, isn't it? So you begin to confess what you want into that place. In the name of Jesus, I'm promoted. If your own is promotion, are you listening to me? In the name of Jesus, I have new job. It depends if you are here on employment. So your own should be what? Employment. Am I talking here? In the name of Jesus, I am you. If your own is a sickness, you have to confess it. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Can we hear you cry your sin? In the name of Jesus. You can call yourself. I am my joy. You are praying. You are praying. Just begin to confess. Jesus. I am my joy. I have a life. In the name of Jesus. I have a life. I am my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am progressing. I am progressing. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My joy is lifted. My joy is full. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm victorious. I'm victorious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm richly blessed. I will rise. I'm richly I will arise. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I will rise. Wherever you are confessing your life this morning, in reality, it will be visible. Yeah. Open your eyes. Until you move closer to a parent that name you Ogundipe, you will never know why they name you Ogundipe. You will never know why they call you Ayomi Kun because you are not there with them when the things happen to them. And they say we shall name this particular baby Ayomi Kun. Oh, ni mo iditi wan fi swa ni Ayomi Kun. So ni shele to shele si wan di wan shek beye lo duko I'm going somewhere. Oh, lo si bikon. Bikon name is an office. So ni be ipo ni oru koche. Immediately you are zoom into that particular office. Ni kete to oba bo si ipo no. Nobody can call you any other name than the name of that office. Ko si e ni to ne fi oru koche mi beye a fi oru koche ipo si owa. Somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. I've accepted that particular name of that word office. So, when we say in the name of Jesus, the way you are prayed for a person that is dead oh. is not the way you are prayed for the person that is looking for healing. Somebody hear me. I'm going somewhere to make you to understand that this name of Jesus, we always shout, shout, shout. It's an oppression in the spirit. When you say in Jesus' name to a dead man, so you are commanding resurrection. So That's the meaning to that pastor, pastor word that is dead. So but on Jesus to the to one no Jesus ko the resurrection in the name of Jesus should answer. So when you are praying for a poor man, I said in the name of Jesus, what the interpretation means is that oh look pesi ko shekini ko pesi for. Somebody hear him this morning. Yes, sir. That is the reason you need to understand this name. That's why I said no other name. That be given to man that he shall be saved. He say he has given him a name that is greater than what every other name. I'm only bringing your understanding so that when you call the name in your house, you are set up an operation to what to make a demand on your behalf. Somebody hearing me? Here? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why. We are going to call that particular name three times. Sorry, no, let me tell him what we are going to call you. And you keep quiet. Wow, Adake. Yes, you call the name of Jesus three times. Oh, my God, you call Jesus, let me tell him. You keep quiet. Let me know, Adake. Now let the meditation of your spirit. Wow, Adake, I shall not call him. 
begin to interpret that particular meaning of that name. That that name should bring back every of your glory that you have had. That the name should go to the feet of your life and make it fatter. That the name should go to the life of your children and make them responsible. Don't just call the name anyhow again. Just like the way people call it. At any start of any start, it's Jesus. But meanwhile, they don't know what is the operation they already activated. Am I talking somebody here? Yes, sir. Now you know better. That when things are not working in your trading we or in your office or in your shop, when you call the name of Jesus, you are calling it as a crowd drawer. Somebody hearing me here. Oh no, see walk or petero. He said he entered the boat. CB. And he told him to cast his net here. Oruwe ja lo pe. He called the name of fishes. You call it the names, but he called it the names of the fishes. You now understand the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shout that name three times. Oh ma poruko yila meta. Then you are close your eyes to begin to meditate in your spirit. Don't say anything. To some people here, the interpretation is light over their darkness. Somebody hearing me here. Yes, sir. A interpretation in some people's life is to cover them because they are naked. Are you ready this morning? Want to grow? Shout the name of Jesus. 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 Keep quiet. Begin to meditate in your mind. Meditate in your mind. What interpretation should the name give unto you? To Sarah, he became Isaac. To Sarah, To Jacob, he became man that war with God and prevailed. To Peter, I become reviver of the business. To Lazarus, he become life. To Abraham, he become provision. What is the meditation you have concerning the name? In about one minute, meditate on it. Meditate on it. Meditate on it. Meditate on it. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Amen. Fire. Please have your seen the presence of the Lord. Can you change our mic? Amen. Tell the person beside you, you are welcome to wonder of his present service. You are welcome to wonder of his present service. They will come under the grace well, what's the ability of her? where God shall cause wonders in your life in order for you to experience the totality of God in changing your life beyond any limitations. The way flower enter into oven, that is not the way it came out. Oh not if flower shema wonu in no colour shema pada. Somebody hearing me this morning. Yes, sir. 
You either call it cake or you call it bread. It depends on the intention of your heart that you put the fire or the flour what? into the oven. It's not different from the way you have come here this morning. You have come the way you know you, are, you can be. But when you come under a grace called the wonders of his presence, it will be as if they pull a spell over somebody. And they won't know that you have come under another grace entirely different from where you are coming from. That is why the day that appear before him shall move from strength to strength. Meaning there's a grace of power that can transform people from weakness into strength. So where is your weaknesses? Never allow yourself to be hidden before his presence. Let your heart begin to communicate. Let your eyes begin to imagine the new thing that you desire. Because he's able to do immeasurable more above that which you say or that thing you are thinking. Meaning both what you say and what you think they are your soldier in winning the battle of your life. Let me say it again. Because both of them God hear their voices. So my question to you this morning is this. Is what you are saying different from what you are having in your spirit that you are thinking about? Here's the reason why answers are not given to prayer. Because what we speak differ from what we are thinking. Your thought says, I am favor. Your mouth is speaking, where is the favor in this particular land of Nigeria? So which one do you want God to really give attention to? Somebody hearing me this morning. Yes, sir. That is why when we come before his presence, he has ability the integrity to make both what you think and what you say it La has to make it happen for you I want to appreciate the choir for the song that they gave us this morning let's celebrate them once again because why I was pressing before God's presence for his people you know in Jeremiah 3.15 He said I will give you a pastor That will feed you with knowledge and understanding Meaning that anytime I stand on this podium I became responsible for the hunger of men because God chooses me as a vessel that I should be able to enlighten them in the area of how they can be able to be made provided provision for through the pathway of knowledge and through the pathway of understanding this is the reason why you have a teaching priest over your life. This morning I'll be talking on what I call understanding who Jesus Christ is. It's a dimension of a key. That many people that has it, they don't know the operation of the key. You know there are many ways you can open door by a key. If you have encountered such kind of door before, one door can be that you twist that particular key only once. Isn't it? Yes, sir. And the some you put the key, you twist about three times. It is about understanding what that key what it represents. 
towards that particular door. The name of Jesus, who Jesus is, is a key dimension that many believers take lightly. She be they ask us to call Jesus three times. And she bought in a cock with Jesus let me turn on him. She be we know that Jesus saved people. She be a sham of Jesus Banila. More than that particular dimension. Jew and one control more law. There's a more to Jesus. Oh, but not what can see no Jesus that you need to know. It's only the last more to take all the delivery of your inheritance. Go by the bag of book, go in this kingdom. Nino in Choba. See, in this kingdom we belong. No matter how long you come into the kingdom. It is not a kingdom of sentiments. That because he has been long there, let's promote him or her. They don't do that in this kingdom. That is why you look as if somebody is better than other. It's oh, a no. lie. Everybody has equal opportunity when they come to this kingdom. But we only assess what belongs to us based on knowledge or revelation. Ma, the more you know me, the more you enjoy me. Isn't it? Yes, sir. The more you know me, the more you enjoy The more you know your wife and your husband, the more you enjoy them. That is why it's so dangerous that somebody is defining your husband or wife for you when you do not know who they are. So many people are just being informed who Jesus is. They never encounter who Jesus is. That's why understanding who Jesus is is a powerful key that open kingdoms. So you know, the abani oye and it is Jesus oje oje koko roto ni agbara ton shile ku ichobare. And I want you to diligently follow the speaking of the Holy Spirit as I begin to speak through His power to your life this morning. Just one passion, one purpose to know you more and more. When I know you, I'll find me. I want you to listen to the lyrics of that song. Because why I was preparing for this particular message. Holy Ghost dropped that particular song in my spirit. That when I know you as who you're supposed to be in my life, then I found myself. I found my marriage. I found my career. I found the pathway to spiritual growth. I found what to do. Let me quickly give you a little knowledge concerning knowledge and understanding. Knowledge tell you what you know. Understanding tell you how to go about what you know. Oh, yeah, to make a benefit to you. Oh, yeah, so it be said to my belly on to my cobble jam for nere. No, let tell you what you need to know. I know my husband like fried rice. Mama, mama, we are called me like a fried rice. Oh, more knowledge. Imo. Now, understanding tell you. Oh, yeah, what's up? How can I turn this raw rice? Into edible food for this particular man to what to eat. But when you mention my son, rice is too too easy. The only thing you only check your money by the wrong church. So I've seen people. Material we niyo. That many times they know. So check your money up by that. Ni one more. But they don't know the dynamism of how to really go about it. We know that the name of Jesus can say. But how can I make that name of Jesus become useful to every aspect of my life? 
Have you seen people that ask car and they do not have understanding of what the kind of car it is? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. May you not be ignorant of what you know. Oh, ni ya ope si on to mo. You can't choose the fuel tap of your car as a place where you use as a radiator. Oh, le so pe bi to on da epo si lo fe fi se radiator ninu mo to e ko se nse. Somebody hear me here. Because both of them have hole, isn't it? So ni pe iho wa lenu awon mejeji. But the hole has complication over what goes into them. Sugar awon iwo yi nkan to to la fi won nse. Somebody hear me here. Yes sir. I pray after this particular teaching today. You so much engages that particular Jesus. Oh my Lord, you will engage the understanding. Oh my Lord, to the extent that every circumstance will become a stepping stone for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus name. This is the reason why you come to church. So that your inner man can be educated. To know you more and more. When I know you more and more. I'll find me. No one has out you. No one beside you. Let me know you more and more. When I know you, you find me. It is true, many of us are in his presence, but we are lost. This, this particular Jesus that we are always even be talking about. Is it true that all this particular thing they are saying about him? Is he truly doing it? Because there's a dimension of that Jesus that you need to encounter. That is why you need to listen intentionally. When you understand who Jesus Christ is. Following after his instructions will not be a burden to you. Write it down. When you have the understanding of who Jesus Christ is, following all instructions will not be a burden to you. First John chapter 5 verse number 3 give me amplified version. Give me amplified version. First John chapter 5 verse number 3 when you understand who Jesus Christ is following after his instructions will not be a burden to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you know your husband, so knowing here is not just knowing his name. When you know your wife, so knowing him does not mean because you know the village that he comes from. I'm about to talk somebody here. You will understand how he can minister to you. That's what I mean, knowing him. When they give you an instruction, you are not going to count it that he's, he's making you feel weary. Because you know him fulfilling those particular instructions. There is a derivative, the derivatives of a kind of the uh, kind of beast and the blessing that will come to you. The Bible says to us in this place, for the true love of God is this. Meaning when you are looking for how to define the kind of love that God asks for us. He said this is the definition. That we do his commands. Keep his ordinances. And mindful of his precepts. And his teachings. And this order of his are not action. 
that is is not burdensome it's not oppressive it's not grievous give me new king james version of this portion of the bible why am i choosing to speak to you through this particular portion of the bible because we don't understand who jesus christ is following after his instruction we felt that it is so difficult to accomplish that why because we thought following after those instructions you thought it is by your power so as a result it becomes so difficult to accomplish am I talking somebody here yes sir hallelujah hallelujah amen you don't see your child who is four years old and put a 50 kg cement that you should go and carry it am i talking somebody here but you can send him an errand tell your brother outside that is around 30 years old that that bag of cement let it take it to the backyard if that child is angry with you that mommy is making a bag of cement that child need punishment isn't it? Yes, sir. Because he's not the one that has the power so the that wants to use to, work, of, to carry this. So it is. But is no so this is the love of God that will keep his commandment. And his commandment is not what? Is not burdensome. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When well, you know your manager in office that you work with you will know that even though you give an assignment you know that it's a responsibility that will occasion your promotion is it it? because you know that that task is even though it is difficult he knows that you can do it. Even though you could not be able to accomplish better, but there's like a window like to, to go back to meet with him. I said, I can, I've done what I could, but how do you want me to do it better? But for a pride man, he won't see that window. He will just go and begin to murmur. He's enjoying himself. He said I should go and walk on the field. He's enjoying himself. And he's giving me peanuts at Tife. Do you know what he's stretching you? It's training you one day that you are going to also arise to this particular leadership. Number one, it's also teaching you that one day you also go to make a decision the way I'm making decisions. And what you make happen for somebody is what God will make happen for you. When you don't make it happen, this heaven, it has judgment. You will pray to it, it looks as if it is still up. Because whatsoever you sow, definitely you will reap it. And in abundance. Somebody hearing me this morning. Yes, sir. John chapter 6, verse number 60. Give me New King James Version. This are even the disciple of Jesus. They are many. But at the time Jesus was giving them teachings about their attitude, the way they are treating their family, concerning giving with respect to their responsibility as a steward. One day after he finished teaching, some of the disciples can go. That's what you are reading here. Therefore, Many of his disciples, when they had this, they said, This is what a hard saying. Who what? Who can understand it? Now go to verse number 66. Let's see what happened to these disciples. We are going to read it together. One to go. Let's read. From that time, many of what? Of his disciples, what happened? Went back and what? War with him, what? No more. So in the initial. 
Jesus did not have only 12 disciples. Because when they could not, they do not know him. They don't know what kind of operation that he came to do on this earth. Even the Sadducee and the Pharisee one day, they even go against him. Half this particular small child will be calling himself a father. <laughs> he said before Abraham, I am. They never understand what I am mean. They told the that small Jesus that he's saying I am. He didn't know that before the earth was created, he has been. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. And Bible said they almost want to stone him. He passed through them for what? They could not see. Should I prophesy on somebody on that particular year? That in this week, in this particular year that remains, you will pass through challenges on this nation. It shall not affect your kitchen. It shall not affect your table. It shall not affect your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Because you know him. The Bible says from that day, they thought that his law is so difficult. They thought his instruction is so difficult. Like God is talking to somebody here this morning. Telling the husband, when you get back home, tell your wife that you are sorry. And that sorry look like a 39 years statement that you can never say. And that backlash, say of that backlash statement, close the door that you have ever been praying for. Because to him, he ought to have understand what this woman has done to me. Am I talking to somebody here? He ought to have understand what this man has done to me. Not to concern Jesus with all those things. Anytime you say you want to follow him, do you know what you are saying? I want to be like Jesus. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Anytime you choose that you want to follow Jesus, the interpretation is a what? I want to be tomorrow and be Jesu. Somebody hearing me this morning. Yes, sir. When you understand who Jesus Christ is, so about when it's Jesu Christi, your hunger for character transformation. That is, you will be hungry for character transformation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you say you are understanding who Jesus Christ is. How you are going to know that you are truly following and understanding that Jesus uh, is when your character has been transformed. How did I mean? Before you say you meet Jesus. There are certain character that you display. Now you say you have met him. The same character she stay with you. I don't think there's a Jesus of the Bible and a Jesus of the God that you met. Somebody hearing me this morning. Yes, sir. This is why we need to understand who Jesus Christ is. When you meet a honorable person. When you meet a king, except you don't have a relationship with him, he can't leave you to go empty-handed. Am I talking somebody here? Is it a true statement? It doesn't allow you to leave empty and dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you say you follow Jesus and you understand it, you are going to be hungry for character transformation. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. But me, 
Anybody can practice religion. But the difference between religion and Christianity is the character of Christ. Somebody hearing me here? Ben, yes, he said, You shall know them by what? By their fruits. So, when you are a man, show more, get all show me. If you cleave to the tree of Jesus, the evidence must be the fruit of Jesus in you. Before you met him, you are so full of anger. That is how we are in my family. When you have the DNA of Jesus, the DNA that gives a deliverance. The DNA that stops the evil angel from operating. Is that DNA not enough to erase the angry anger in you? Please never let us deceive ourselves. I'm talking somebody here. Yes, sir. Don't let us deceive ourselves. Where well, you truly understand Jesus. So, you will be hungry for a character transformation. Yes. You may not start, your, it might not transform all by today. But while you are following me, that flesh, you are going to be uh, uh, removing them one after the other. To the extent that after 20 years that you know him, they put you side by side. In what you were in 1980, you that you were in 1980, and you confess that you know Jesus, and they compared you with 2024. And it's all Jimmy Day, oh, she really, only be a lady, mommy, it's 1980, go for you one year. And they say that that is how you have been behaving even since 1980. And you say you met Jesus of the Bible. Oh, there's a Jesus to be belly low back day. What have you Jesus you belong with? It's like that is Jesus of Oyingbo. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's read the book of the Bible. Philippians chapter 2, verse number 5. Give me NLT version. NLT. Philippians 2, verse number 5. Philippians 2, verse number 5. NLT. Let's read this together. Want to go? You must. Underline the word must. Ni yo ba kini ni etumosi. O kondon don abi. O godon. You can see that what I'm saying in essence. It's not because I want to become sarcastic or I want to fabricate statements. It is a must that you must know, understand this Jesus. And he said you must have what? The same attitude. Do you know how I can describe the same attitude? Is this. Though, dog, it belongs to the family we call cats. Even lion belongs to the family we call cats. Leopard. Cheetah. They belong to what? Family of cats. But their attitude differs. Isn't it? Yes, sir. If their attitude is not different, you will have domesticate a cat. Not a domesticate what cat, not what lion. If you see where they domesticate a lion, something have been done into that lion. Or you see somebody begin to call a hen as if he's calling a cat. Something has to be done. Because in their attitude, they are what? They are different. One is made to be running after a cat, a rat in the house. Is it it? Yes, sir. One is another one that both human beings and the rat, he finished them. Isn't it? Yes, sir. So when you say you understand Jesus, so, it means that you have the DNA of Jesus running in you. Meaning anything that happens to you, you first ask yourself, how would Jesus be? in this matter. Am I talking somebody here? 
Hallelujah. See, that is why I told you many times. Sir, it will take you a long time to learn about God. That is why when you see a child that is already maybe 15 years old, he's still playing around and still Don't playing around. Don't compare that person with you. Because you are now 45 years old. You have not even known Christ. Do you know that child even though when he comes to the age of 19 I know God. He can do better than you that are yet to know Christ at the age of 45. Somebody hearing me here. So when you see somebody that is 50 years old. He's yet to understand God. See, you need extra class. Because it will take time to learn what? Learn God. I'm telling you, somebody went to the mountain and to go and take okay. only 10 wells. How many minutes? If you want to write 10 words, how many minutes will it take you? It's not going to take you 30 minutes at all. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Somebody here, you can't write long because I've only 24 hours. Even if you're writing a note, let's say 24 hours is enough. The course of 10 was somebody spent 40 days. Do you know the implication of what he's telling us? To learn God. It will take you time. So that is why we that are already in the particular age, when they are doing one program for those particular kids, don't come to one program. Your own must be double. Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. You need extra class to catch up. That is why you see result is not always evident in some certain believers life because they are treating their life at this time as if they are still a teenager as if they are still a child if they are reading one book you read two we call it extra class. Because the gap of your knowledge about God, you do not have much time. They what? They see our time. He said, You must have the same attitude that Jesus Christ what? Give me ESV John chapter number 6. Verse 26 to 35. I will summarize. John chapter number 6. 26 to 35. ESV. Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say unto you, you are seeking me, not because you saw signs, but because what? You ate your what? You feel of what? Of the loaf. Let me just stop at verse 27. Just write down that Bible portion. I will explain what I'm saying here. Do not labor for the food that perishes, for the food that endure to eternal life. We, the Son of Man, will give you, for on him God the Father has set what is sealed. What am I saying here is this. Whenever you come to God, know that he's a God that can transform men. Often time, when we pray, we always think that the answer has not come. The pathway to answer to your prayer is you prayer changing you first. So, the assignment of prayer is first to change you. That is the assignment of prayer. Because, because many of us do not know this. We just say, let us pray. And we pray. But when the answer is coming, he meets another version that is not fitted to that particular answer. 
Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. That is why when you pray, answer to your prayer is a change of a transformation that first come to your life. Meaning that anytime you pray, let it change you first. Oh, Lord. Oh, all those who are casting satanic stone on me, tear up their mouths. But yesterday, but yesterday, but yesterday, yesterday, you were backbiting about somebody else. What do we call that? What do we call it? Who's do we call it? What do we call it? Who's man should see first? Hey, sorry. It shall be well in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer changes you first. Before you bring your answer to your life. When you understand who Jesus Christ is. Sacrificing for his kingdom. For his agenda. Will be counted as a gain. Rather than loss. Yes. They wake somebody that we should go to church. That person will be hungry. Am I talking here? See, I'm not talking about your children now. See, they are still growing and they will know. But you see, see that things are not going smoothly with. Let's go to the house of God. Leave me alone, Joe. It's not him. He did not know the person they are inviting him to meet. Show me your sir. Yes, sir. If you know whom they ask you to come and meet, that a single meeting with him will transform your life. You will see it as what? As a gain and not a loss. Oh my God, I'm talking somebody here. Yes, sir. Amen. When you understand it. To ba mo. Sacrifice for his agenda. It will be a gain and not a loss. Philippians chapter 3, verse number 8. Philippians 3, verse number 8. ESV. Philippians 3, verse 8. ESV. Indeed, I count everything lost because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Hallelujah. I'll count going to Owambe. Kini the lost Owambe. Take a wash your wash your lawn. Come up by your similar. Abi, Abi, Esoro now. Come up, shake it. Come up, Esoro shoot it similar. So that you not be insulted or queried. Be at your show, you know shake it. Eh, why? That why didn't you come to my party? You can see reason why. Falling after Christ, it has a price. He did it. The Jesus only awaits on him. Have you ever asked yourself? For the 18 years of Jesus as a teenager, do you know anyone of his friends? It was not given as a record to us in the Bible. But when we know him at age of 12, we know what he's doing. Isn't it? The Bible says, sir, with what? Doctors and lawyers. Ask them what? Questions. Where are his friends? When they are doing parties. He was in a church. They thought he's a foolish person. They thought that maybe he has so much love in church. Yes. Somebody hearing me this morning? Yes, sir. I'm not saying you should not go to Owambe. What I'm saying is this. If the going there will not be of a benefit to your spiritual life. Why will you have to be there? Yes. This is what Paul is telling us. I count everything what? As a loss. Because of what? The surpassing what of what? Knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. When you understand Jesus, sacrificing for his call and his agenda will be again 
Our lack of understanding who Christ is. Is what sponsor doubt in us. Is sponsor fear in us. Let me give this illustration. Mrs. Adeleke, stand up. If I say I'm giving you one million naira. What will come to your mind first? You said? Your business. Okay, sit down. Mr. Ologi, very stressed. If I say I'm giving you 10 million naira, what will come to your mind? Having a house. Sit down. <laughs> you know who stand up? If I'm giving you 30 million naira, what will come to your mind first? Eh? You do investments. <laughs> if I'm giving you 50 million, what will come to your mind first? What will come to your mind? Eh? House. <laughs> when I know him, I found me. Pastors, Pastor Toby, if I give you 100 million, what will come to your If I say I want to give you 100 million, what will come to your mind? What will come to your mind? Your business. Okay. Hallelujah. Now, let me now explain. Okay, shall I? All that you said, um, but, but, yes, so. they are derivative. Oh, yeah, I I I I I if I said to you that I'm giving you 100 million naira, you fell look at my character. What is my track record? That this person, in time past, has he ever done something of 1,000 to people? Are you getting my understanding now? Has he done anything of 20,000 naira to people? Has he given somebody 30 million before? Based on that knowledge, you cannot believe. Then when you believe, you take an action towards me that will not make you to doubt me. Only then your know. business will survive. It's just a sample of how we behave before Jesus Christ. We look for what is in his hand. We don't know what goes on in his hand. And when you are not close to me, you won't know my heart. Am I saying something here? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I'm not saying what you say you want to do is not, is not bad. No. No. What about if I what I promise and fail? You're not going to be angry. Don't mind that pastor. You only say what he cannot do. Now the Bible says you are the one that put yourself in tight corner. Oh, mommy. Because you do not know me. Oh, give me your woe. You have not weighed me. I only said that I will give you money. She battery by you know shame is straight. Oh, the thing by oh, can't see what your egg before what they hash. Have you learned something this morning? A lot, sir. Now. If God that created the whole universe, that in blessing I will bless you, then you need to trust him. If you truly know him, that he said, Let all man be a liar, and let God be what? Be true. Then you. Your attitude towards him will be quite different from towards men. Do you understand what I'm saying this morning? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I know your business will improve. But what you want to do to your business is in his heart. Remember Peter. He said, Ati shekini, Ati damuni bogo, no. He said, we have toyed all the night. 
He said, Borrow me your boat so that I can preach with it. The king of kings knows what is going to pay him back. He knows that he was already washing the nets to go back. You know that Peter can be angry that what kind of person is this one? You want to be able to be able to be able to my wife thought I'll bring position, no money over I've profit. not made anything since morning I've been working. And I know that the person I'm going is still coming to ask me. You want to delay me here so that my debtor can meet me here. But you want to delay me here so that my debtor can meet me here. But the king of kings know the kind of wonders he wants to perform out of my work. He knows that your family must surely eat. He knows that your way must actually prosper. But he said you should know me first of all. He said cast your nets. Please, his job did not crash. And your business too will not crash. Amen. 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 But it desire you to know it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you lack knowing it, it makes you to become abandoned. It creates weariness in you. It makes you to backslide. So the assignment of the Holy Ghost this morning is to make you to understand through your inner man who Jesus is. So that when you face with any circumstances or issue of life, you will come again them based on your understanding of who Jesus is. You'll face your finance based on who Jesus Christ is. You'll face your health challenges based on who Jesus Christ is. When you don't know him, you may run to another person which happened to many people in the Christ they step out of him they look for witchcraft power they look for darkness power when he said all the power in heaven what has been killing am I talking somebody here yes sir hallelujah amen amen Second Timothy chapter 1 verse number 12 Give me ESV. You can write it down. Second Timothy. Remember what we are talking about. Understanding who Jesus Christ is. Second Timothy 1 verse number 12. From ESV. He said, but I am not ashamed. For I know whom I believe. You may be passing through anything before you come here this morning. Maybe you have not paid the bill of your house rent. Probably your children's school is not yet adequately paid for. In fact, you have been deploying more money to your business, but it has never bring any profit. You are dealing down here to even resign from that particular office. Perhaps the person you are expected to meet with you tomorrow, you are expecting insult from his mouth. But let me introduce another injection to our life this morning. Which can immune you against every challenge of life. Because having understanding of this particular Jesus. That's why I love that particular song where I grow up with. Somebody hearing me? See, Jesus Christ did not die for long. He only died for three days. Even while they are discussing him, that do you see what happened in Jerusalem? They didn't know who they are talking about is already working with them. Do not mock me 
see my own enemy. Even though I fall, I what? I will rise. You cannot just be sitting down forever. You cannot fall down forever oh. if you know this, my father. Oh, It's a father of all spirits. Oh, Jeff, me. He can use any man for your standing. He said, I will give men on your behalf. I might tell somebody there. He said, on the day of my power, people will be willing, they will be volunteering. This is the capacity of the person that you should know. You can't be a son to Trump. Oh, the job of Trump. And you'll be chasing uh, Mama put up and down to eat. In fact, if some people see you there, they will think that you've gone mental. Because they didn't expect me in what? In that place. Somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. You can be wearing one clothes. But you are wearing many clothes inside your heart. You might be moving in a road where there's a dust. But in your spirit, you are walking on the gold. Because at the hand, whatsoever he think in his heart, he says he shall be. Somebody hearing me this morning. Yes, sir. That is why your heart is so important to you knowing him. So our physical attendance here is not as important as our art attendance. Because I look at the art of men, not their physical appearance. And he, God, must answer you. He answers based what goes on in your heart. The question to everybody this morning, and including me, is to what level is our understanding of this Jesus? To what understanding is this Jesus to us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Open your Bible to the book of Ephesians. Chapter 1, verse number 8. Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 8. It's Paul that was talking to us in that place. Paul, he said that our understanding eyes might be enlightened. That you may know that understanding eyes of you should be open. Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 18. Ephesians chapter 1 verse number 18. That your eyes of understanding might be opened. That it might be enlightened. That you may know. What does it mean to know in that place? Ability to annex. All the possibility of your inheritance in Christ. Don't die. As a misseller eating bones. Because your understanding matters in this kingdom. It is Paul that was praying for the church of Ephesians. That all above of what you know. I want you to understand this Jesus. And this understanding will give you the possibility of your inheritance in this Christ. Listen to me. There are many times we had our phone in our hands. There are some certain settings in that phone that you don't understand. And it can benefit you. Isn't it? But you know that without you enabling it, it what? It will not work. So it is with this particular kingdom. You receive to the level of your understanding. Hallelujah. Understanding Jesus. When you have understanding, it gave back to conviction. Yes. Shut up, me, you, sir. Yes, sir. That 
That is why you see people after they leave church. Because they do not have the understanding of Jesus. They are going to crusade something else to them. Do you know the answer that some believers say? They will say, mm, it's God that created everything. Hey, damn <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That a woman be like a fake person. I'll be a fake person like a woman be. Hallelujah. Devil can impose his nature in a man. Satan and that person become another configuration of God creation. Because that's not what God created. But I will pray for you this morning on this particular platform. That whatever thing you are going through in your life. When the God that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Give you understanding for solution. I said give you understanding for solution. Amen. Give your understanding for solution. Amen. Yeah. Not that you don't know what to do. But what you must combine to do them is what we don't know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us see what Jesus Christ say about himself. So that you have understanding who Jesus Christ is. Why did I say that? How I many of people know some people write books? You know some people write books. At the back of that book, they put what? The profile of what? The author. Yes, Isn't it? Yes, sir. Until you see the profile of that author, you no, might have been defining the author as a different person before. You mm. You say you know me. By the virtue of what people told you about me, you are yet to know me. You are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know You are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are yet to know me. Until you see the profile of me, you are Basis on their experiences. Especially in the Old Testament. They will say Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Shama. Elohim. Elohim. Am I talking here? Yes, sir. Jehovah Sabuati. Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these particular names. Many of us do not even understand what it takes. To have the understanding of those names. That is what people give to God. You know some people are so called. Eze, 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 See how far you brought me. Is Eze in the Bible? At, answer me. No. But we are singing it, Abi. Yes, sir. Because you give her a configuration, a configuration of who God, who God, God is. is. Now. Let us go to the Bible and understand from the mouth of Jesus himself who he called himself to be. So next time when challenges face you, you will talk from that understanding. Not only what people tell you, but about what he himself what he tells you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go read the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse number 1 NLT. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 NLT. Holy Spirit. I'm rounding up some few minutes. But you must have the understanding of this. Understanding who Jesus Christ is. This is the revelation from Jesus Christ. If there be anybody that I might, I might like to meet before I meet any other person in heaven it's Apostle John among every disciple he know this particular person to the heart anytime you, anytime you see his right up he brings to us that particular personality in Christ somebody hearing me here 
No wonder the Bible says he's the disciple that puts his head on the chest of Jesus. Even at the suffering of Jesus, Jesus wanted to give his mother to somebody. It does not look for any other sign. Our disciple. Mm. Who did he give it to? He gave it to John. He's talking about John. Mm. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. Because challenges will come against your business. It will come against everything that is around you. If you are not careful, you are going to try all you can. Remember? Erotic. The disciple and Jesus in the kennel. When oh, they stop the teacher, so they got more one Baby, baby, so we all best in do that one. We come from Ashikin, come at them. So go to the Ojo Agbami. The Bible said they were struggling so that their boats will not capsize. Now one of them remember the name of that particular person. Oh, come on, I want one roti or look any. He said, Master, how care you what we perish? Only on gosh, and you go pick it up. We are washing bay. How will somebody master wake up somebody that is sleeping when there's a storm? It's because somebody understands his word is a master. A master means what? A ruler over what? Over all. And what did they do? And he arose. And he rebuked the storm. And the storm was calm. That's why you need to understand this Christ. There are many big, going to be so many financial storm in your life. Many storm against marriages. You understand of this particular Christ. It gives you formidability. Stamina. To stand. To face all this particular challenge. He said there's no one we call about there's a revelation about Jesus. That we must know. Number one thing that Jesus called himself. He called himself bread of life. I'm going to be fast. You write it down. Go and study it at home. He called himself bread of life. John chapter 6 verse 35. Hallelujah. Amen. What does it mean to be bread of life? Meaning I can sustain you at any time, at any moment. When there is no food to feed about 5,000. It became bread in their midst. Somebody hearing me this morning. Hallelujah. So when you come to your house so bad day, and you look at your store oh, what will be done, and say father of lies oh, I believe that I understand as the bread of life give me this day my daily bread you're not going to sleep in hunger because you are not speaking 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 because you are only lamenting. You are not talking to who you know. Oh, by any time, sorrow. You must know him as a what? As a bread of life. Number two. Kenchi. Jesus called himself Jesus be arare. the light of the world. Only money arage. John chapter eight, verse number twelve. I'm recounting this particular thing for you. Most, so I want what you for. Because in the journey of life, there are evil stones. I'm a tongue somebody here. Tell your mother say, "Call it be a wadano." That some when somebody stumble, the marriage will capsize. I've seen somebody. Motiri nyo. Egun gweja one way se se deke one gay be dano. And it was a bone that had ties like the leg became decayed oh, and it was amputated. Oh, first of all. He only eat his leg on it his toe. It is not about the gugweja. It's not a matter of the uh, bone. They just use it as an avenue to enter. Somebody hear me here? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You need the light. Only lo imole. Lati mo koko to joko sinu igbe ya we. In order to identify the darkness in your marriage. You need the light. Only lo imole. Lati mo no to yeko to. In order to identify the path to follow. When you do not understand him to this extent. Tio ba mo to be. Darkness will be all around you. Anytime you sight a light, you can face darkness. And say, Jesus that I know is the light of the world. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. Number three. 
Jesus called himself the door. Jesus pe ara le ni enu ona. He called himself the door. Enu ona. I've told Ilekun. you last Sunday Ilekun. that this word that you see. Between heaven and the earth, there are doors. Go and ask Daniel. He will tell you. Daniel, the same day you pray, I have answered. But the king of Persia, they close the door. You may not see it physically. Some people can be under close effort. Let me give you the parameter of somebody under close effort. It is only his age that is growing. Every other thing is not growing. Nothing grows. But only his age. That is the symbol of somebody under close effort. The devil will not disturb him during bad days. But nothing else grows in his life. It's a symbol of somebody under close effort. But my prayer for you this afternoon is this. Whatever heaven that you are under. That your business is under. That your marriage is under. That I'll be closer. It's open this morning. It's open this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, I am the door. So next time, when you are sitting in your shop, when customer has not come, you will speak to that door. It is not the door that you love with the bad luck. It is a short door that customers identify that hinder them from coming. Am I talking somebody here? And you say, God, you say you are door. I open the door of this backlash shop this month. I'm not saying the one you use bad luck, sir. Somebody hearing me this morning? Because who you know is calling himself what? Door. Number four. He called himself a good shepherd. John 10, 11. Meaning there are some evil shepherd, isn't yeah, it? But he called himself what? A good shepherd. And what is the implication of a good shepherd? You will go to the book of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I what? No, where that does. Sole Kosi. Sole Kosi. Sole Kosi. I the lie alone me He said the young lion they are hungry. Somebody hear me this morning. Yes, sir. This is the God that you know. And this is God that you must call. Listen to me. In journey of life, if you don't need him as a bread of life, you will need him as a door. If you don't need him as a door, you will need him as a light. In any way, you cannot escape any challenges. I serve you no money in this earth. Number five. He is the resurrection and the life. John 11, 25. He is the resurrection and what? And life. What does the implication of this name mean? Nothing should die in your hand and your life. If something is in your hand and it's died. You have a father that calls himself what? Resurrection and the life. Am I talking to somebody here? Hallelujah. There's a man. You need, need to travel abroad. And they've paid for all his feeding inside the cabinet of the ship. But he never knew. Because he thought that all the food he's going to eat, he should provide by himself. And because of 
Jackpa syndrome and mentality. Nitori ero pe mo fe Jackpa. E ja ki sha ra yin do mi ati biscuit king besunu yara ton fun mi. Let me just buy it to me and share kini ma de loyin bo. One day I will arrive abroad. Sir, ko fi ronun de loyin bo sir. It was not easy for him at all. Because sometimes sir, how many days does it take from abroad to from ship? About 3 more many 90 days. How many days? 90 days. 90 days. On the kini, biscuit at the kini, indomi. indomi. Hmm. Meanwhile, everything you need to eat, I'll be pro everybody wake up in the morning, they will Wait, go to the restaurant. Ro. One loss, be thought in tonche. And they come up and charge me, come up and charge me. You no, say so that they will not charge me. You can see the Let mentality. me sit in my house. Say, what do we do? By the time it's getting overseas, what is it raw? It has become thin. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go for run war better. Because of what? Ignorance. Sorry, I'm more okay. So when you get your business next day. So back by the loss, be share a lola. Tom pa ton son. No, go ya kodibe. On your look coming here, Jin the Azikini at T. You are going to activate the name. What is making my profit to die? What is not making me earn enough salary? You are going to activate the resurrection alive. Hmm. It's an insult. What did I call it? Habukun lani. It's an insult. Habukoni. It's an insult. It's an insult. If you need to go out of this church today, go back and listen to this message. Because in any way, need to repel on a corner. And the mommy. Say, mommy. Anytime I read, when I get to the exam hall, I do forget everything I read. I want teacher to call that Danny. And I say your teacher are not teaching you. We now I'm take that child school. to another school. Any mommy, what I best school with me, Lomo? Mommy, it's like I, I, I don't want to go to school. What is that for? Any? They have sold the brain. Somebody hearing me? Here. Oh, they're more agile than Tikini at And you do not know the resurrection and life. One more, one more, Danny, one more, that was. You are going to bring a water and pray inside it. Jesus, oh Lord, me, yeah, oh, oh, me, yeah. Ma, ye, koro, kini, oh, me. See, I'm teaching you what dimension. See, many times you see this tire, be. I forget about this tire. Toba, call me, ma, call me. I'm at somebody here. Hallelujah. Amen. Forget about the tie. Forget about the tie. Amen. Kasha wa da da. At first one, you want to join your kasha kini. Let's be corporate. Amen. Amen. One fear ni ron. Oh nani. They are trying to make you. You are smiling. One fear cannot one see. Oh she kini. Oh oh oh. They are roasting you. They are roasting you. You are dancing in the boards. And you sat down there. Oh they joke o te te re. I'm at home somebody here. Hallelujah. Show the issue. Is it Satan? Tobaka ewe. Read Act of Apostles chapter 12. He said when he got to James, he said he came to touch Peter. We always come every time. He will be the one to resist him. He will resist the devil and he shall flee. Please church. As you are listening to this teaching, don't be weak. You must know Jesus, Jesus that you have known. You have come to meet. Number what? Number six. 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 Somebody hear me here. If you do not know it, they will sell evil market to you. Somebody hear me here. Most of one in the I deal with business of people that really come and take loan. I want to man walk by way lay ni mama ba shishepo. And when he came, he batong ba wa. What lo ba wa re? He has gone to meet his colleagues. Eba para po. Eba me da wosunu account me. Ejo kocha so wosin veja kin a statement eko shegini koyotomi. Leigara. I'm talking somebody here. 
When you come with say ten noah, say me thing. Oh, lobby hundred million. Oh, the fact that thirty million. She go here come Oh yeah. Eh, damn it, Oh yes, sir. And you must have money people away, but you don't know this. I will never Only that. Eh, eh, guy, man, bar, eh, man, eh, man, so ne pa ne pa. Eh, eh, ne pa is a national cake. So my friend, you what you are, I saw the king. I saw the national cake. Mo fun. Somebody hearing me here. He take the sign of the spirit. And it also will never my to yakin over my I want to be at my at the phone. I got a no way. I'm not on somebody here. That's the beginning of frustration. So we never to be told to make back at the It's never be more than the money want to pay back. I'm not on somebody here. Toba who are bare. Only who are bare. See me now. If you behave like that to us, never can behave like that to me too. Move. I didn't give him. And I got back and said, Holy Spirit, I thank you. There's what we always call what we call credit bureau. Credit bureau means that I want to I want to bank in the To buy the lost in the platform, I want to go to So, I want to be like three days near. Be bank metal to jello. the So, I want to be like three days near. 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 I want to be like three days Oh, the long bad me that he can't move. He done the giddy. Can't move. He done the. He walk by left. He move by left. To the moment he start any fresh, he over here by one leg. He ma bara yolu anisa. You boy, you for I know. Come matter. He just about my matter. He want to call my carry matter. Can't move. He just about my matter. He want to call my shake. He lo ma carry matter. Many. To buy the tobuji. We no lo ma car. Amen. Show me your laroy. Amen. Number what? Let me start. Number seven. He called himself the true vine. Yes, the true vine. John chapter 15, verse 1 and verse number 5. John chapter 15, verse 1, verse number 5. He called himself the true vine. Number eight. He called himself Alpha Omega, the ending. The beginning and the ending. What does that mean? It means that, ma, there's no challenges that is facing you that, that surpasses God in existence. Am I talking here? No matter what you are growing, that surpasses God in existence. Before that problem is, it has been. That's why we call him what? Alpha. Omega, the beginning well, and what, and the end. Omega, I bear at you, okay? I'm not on somebody here. Yes, sir. So that is why when your trust is in that back line, that challenge will come and pass. That is why I do tell you, if you're passing through your own challenges, don't make a permanent destroy in a temporary situation. Because when you enter your palace, you are still going to have the scar. Somebody hearing me here? Yes, sir. So my family, listen to me here. So when you delay egg bomb me, oh, Tony, a bit, Jemu Solano. Truly, you did not eat yesterday night. When you sope, I was late on the was late. That doesn't mean that you not have overflow today. So when Tony, Jemu Solano, you now say because you didn't eat yesterday night. Over a sin jack, we lose our own baby. And you are now quarrelling with your husband. You just say I was late bad day. The day the overflow comes. Oh, dear, let me see you. Somebody hearing me here? Oh, let me see you, sir. If it takes you long here, it will lower it. See that they see him. Somebody hear me tonight, this morning. Hallelujah. Please, are you learning something this morning? Please never go home empty with these teachings. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Stand up on your feet. Did they do? Did you learn something this morning? You will learn something this morning. So that when you are engaging every challenge and circumstances, you can rise from understanding. Do you know one thing? That the knife that you are carrying is the one that can cut throat and can cut yam. Like what Pastor Evosa will say, true. Yes, sir, yes. I will say one thing. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Amen. 
The same knife that can cut him. Oh, uh, but on the gay issue, he will cut what? Cut the truth. On the gay of me, young. So, it depends on the holder of that particular knife. And it's all what you are being. You are more not kusi lawa. No man more you will be. You are going to know what you want to use the knife for. Abi. Yes, sir. Now you have understand who Christ is in His name. What you want when it's a Christian, she need no look or a it is your responsibility. Can you just shed tears? That when challenges come, you will laugh at it. I know what I can conquer you. The God I I serve is the God of provision. Is the God of what? Provision. From there. Lati Bello, and my best to a somewhat dra. Holy Spirit will give you a compound, you special prayer points. Somebody hearing me here, yes, sir. Please never pray without understanding who Christ is. Much bad, do not like when it's a Christian she. I'm a tongue somebody here, yes, sir. This is very important for you. I want you to bow down your heart. Mofaki or Terry or Correba, just look at your life in about one minute. Lani said you can hear that. What are the backla challenges? Kini and white Benicia on Dojuka. What is the understanding you have now in Christ that can contend with it? There's a particular song my father sang while he was here around the land the earth. Maybe the mamas will help me. Only I want my and Rawalo. Only I lash a penny, Jesumi. I lash a penny, Jesumi. Why show t-shirt and me lash a penny? I say you're in the ocean, tell me, oh, I lash a penny, Jesumi. I'm not talking somebody here. Jesumi, I buy me she, Jesumi, she you're in. Mama, she's not here. Go up on the phone, like Brad Divine, and it's going to give you strength. Do you know what that song means? That song means that the Jesus that I know. Is a completer of destiny. Jesus, the moment you alab, alab, and he shake me. That means he don't. He did not do half. He does it all. Bow down your heart and talk to that Jesus. Sorry, I come back. Oh, back, oh, badura. Any matter that pertains to your life. Lord, you come to open the door. Speak to him at this moment. My pastor. Concerning that thing that is confronting your family. Lord, you don't see delay. Rent the door. Call on him. Speak to him. My pastor. Speak to him. My pastor. Speak to him. My pastor. You have one minute to pray this. Whatever is the challenge's name, whatever is the storm's name, from the understanding of who Jesus is, speak to that storm, speak to that challenge, speak to that storm, speak to that challenge, because he lives, Jesus, I live, I have no fear. Oh, what a boy, I call you to intervene. Every child is my own. I want you to take that control. Jesus, I live. Because I have you, Lord. Oh, Lord, have your way. I live to pray. Oh, the child is in my own. Keep the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the spirit. Oh, my own. I live to pray. I have no fear because it's only you I have no wrong wrong brain because he lives Jesus I believe today I live to pray your name I want you to stand for me because I have you to pray in Jesus, my Lord, they will pray. Amen. Fire. I decree to your life. Understanding of this fact, Lord Jesus, it shall become your weapon of victory in Jesus. Amen. Whatever the name of your challenges is called, it say at the mention of this name, every knee shall bow from this time henceforth. Every new that I've been making you to bow down today, the name made them to bow down. Amen. From today henceforth, 
you will face challenges like a champion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And you will come back as a victorious person in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Let your name be praised. Amen. Celebrate Jesus.